thought I would make a video before the holiday break ends. Anyways, hey busmen, here is my two new models that I've made. Uh, both in a distance of a week. One took longer to make, but the other one took less. So, this is 546 on the 15 Heritage. You can see there. Is a 1986 GM Classic. And right here on the three Sherwood Estates. 598. 2005 Nova Bus LFS and the first Nova Bus LFS that was delivered to Regina Transit fleet. Now let's get started with the side comparisons. <laughs> One is taller than the other. Oh wait, I should probably mention the bike rack folds down on both of them. There's 546's bike rack down and 598's. Nova Bus logo is very nicely detailed. Um, there we go. And now if we side compare them, yes, I colored the windows on the LFS. Oh yeah, and if you're curious to why I put three Sherwood here, oh shit, sorry, and three Estates here is because it's hard to fit two words into one sign. Yeah, focus. Nice misplaced fleet number and also that's bigger because it is on the LFS's fish focus and the classic yeah you've got your typical classic style doors opened they open same with the LFS's front doors but they're harder to open so give me a minute Alright, so, yeah, and uh, it's also worth mentioning that in 598, the fleet number is above the Nova Bus logo. It's a little hard to see because it wasn't focusing. Um, and I put website link and everything that was on this bus till retirement. And this bus, fun fact, was retired last year. It remained the oldest bus in the fleet until March of last year. Now 601 is the oldest bus in service. And 546 right here. Retired in 2012, I think. Yeah. Oh, it's also worth mentioning that the back door's open as well on both the buses. Give me a second. And there we go. Oh yeah, and the front and the rear doors open on the inside of an LFS, by the way. Nice. Oh yeah. Um, it's my first ever most realistic looking LFS. Most of the other ones, I don't put the blinkers nor the the uh, wheels on. So yeah, I shall show. Might I might put a ramp there so that bus, yeah. And 546 in the inside. You can see the back doors like that. Um, yeah, everything. The giant transit logo on the window. It's also there on 598. All right, now we go to the back, and you can see on 546, there's an ad already that says 2005 and 6 LFS farewell. <laughs> Something I've been advertising. I put no ads on 598 yet because I haven't had the time to. Oh yeah, and there's the license plate, so 598 is 860 EHE, fleet number is up here and down there as well. It did, it's doing the 3, because I saw it doing the 3 in the summer of 2018, non-rush hour, and as well for 546, um, there's an ad here, alright, but hang on, before I do that, WDH. 267 is its license plate. Original license plate.
that end opens up as well. I forgot to put a fleet number in this one. Shit, let's not do that. Yeah, you can see I forgot to put a fleet number, but I colored the classic on the top of the header panel. There we go, let's close that. And now with 598. That Nova Bus logo, the no smoking sign as well. Oh yeah, I should also mention with the rear window of 598, it's hard to see, but through the tape, there was a camera and is in most of these LFSs in the rear window. Um, oh yeah, there's a website link and the ride thing. Caution sticker is there, but on a second gen from 2007 and higher, it's on the window. Except for 611 and 617, because those two, I think, had theirs put on later. Nova LFS on there. Now I can close it. Oh yeah, I should also mention, these buses did not have straight exhaust pipes. They had uh, the curving side ones. I tried my best to replicate it, but it doesn't look anything like it. Alright, here's the side, other side of 598, and I will put the other side of 546 on display. As you can see, I put Happy New Year on it as a wrap ad. That doesn't cover the whole side of the bus, but it's kind of a cool style. And with 598, I goofed with the back here. I accidentally forgot to put the color scheme right there. And I might... I don't know what I could do with that, because... Oh yeah, I colored in that window with the Regina logo being all black. New website link. All these windows are colored. And oh, there's the original website link up there. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, that curves down because uh, the front end, the color scheme would be out of place. You can see there, hey? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And then there's the back over here. This was accidental. I honestly did not mean to forget the color of that. I make it I made it look like it was involved in an accident because of that. Um flip to the side. Also, because I said this in my video of 536, there is an AC on this one. And not on this one, because this one didn't have an AC unit on the top. The classics never did. Anyway, um, put the buses back inside each other. I should also probably close the doors first. Which I'll do. Give me a second. I'll cut it this time instead of putting the camera down. Well, 546's doors are closed. Time for 598's doors. I'm gonna cut that out. <laughs> That was incidental. I did not mean to do that. Um, I am going to flip the bus. Give the buses a full 3D comparison. Look at that. There you go. Um, so yeah, let me know which one you like better. The Classic or the Nova? Um, so, I put my hardest work into these, so... Um, I tried my best to make the LFS as realistic as possible, and the classic I just tried as realistic as well. Um, but yeah, and I have to do this. A shout out to Temple Tuber for making me, giving me the idea to put the wheels on the buses, because. She called them not realistic because there was no wheels, so that's so you can credit her for that idea. Um so yeah. This is the first bus that related video for the new decade. Cause my first actual video is a plush video. So let me know what you think of both these models. Um which one you think is better, and if there's anything you think I should improve with the colorless part of 598, let me know. Anyways, viewers, I'll pick that up. The phone's about to slip on my hand again. Anyways, viewers, 
Let me know which model you think is better. Thank you for watching, and as always, I hope you enjoy. <laughs>